All right, welcome back everyone. It's Nohai here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, we're showing you guys how to get the new sniper, the Wedding Invitation, which is a Jacob's Sniper, part of the little Valentine's event that just started today. Along with this, you know, you get three more levels and everything. So the red text of this weapon says, you, will, you be the, will you be the rest of my life? Question mark. Plus 33% critical hit damage, plus 15% weapon fire rate, plus 15% reload speed, six times weapon zoom. Highly effective against flesh because it is a fire sniper rifle. Damage is 3,473. Accuracy is 93%. Handling is 36%. Reload time is 3 seconds. Fire rate is 1.39 a second with a six magazine size. Uh, we'll get into the special thing about this weapon when we get into the gameplay. But first, I do want to throw in showing you guys how to get this weapon. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have these set of challenges that come with the Broken Hearts Day Little Valentine's uh, event. And you're going to want to complete all of the challenges. And once you do the very last challenge you will complete, you will be able to get this wedding invitation. Go to the little challenge screen, hit the little chest, open it, and you will get the wedding invitation in your inventory. For it, I think you have to kill, yeah, you have to kill uh, 100 of the little hearts that fly around. So uh, each challenge will be a certain amount of hearts you'll have to kill in order to get to the next challenge. For that one, which is the last one, you'll have to kill 100. Pretty easy here. I'll show you a pretty easy place to do it. Just go to the slaughter shaft here in Conrad's Hold. Uh, you spawn right up here where I'm showing you right now, and you're just going to follow the path through Conrad's Hold till you get to the slaughter shaft. To go in here, start, it's one of the little like circles of slaughter or whatever. And just do that, and pretty much, if you do like a round, like uh, I did like two runs of it, and I got to level three. I mean, I got my three more levels to level 53 just in two runs, and I completed all of the challenges. So very easy way to level up, very easy way to get your hearts done, go to the slaughter shaft. Now, gameplay with this weapon. This weapon so far for me has been amazing. I'm loving this weapon. And uh, uh, you want to be hitting the crits with it, especially with my cra uh, flat critical hit build. Since I hit crits anywhere. The special thing about this weapon is that it ricochets because it is a Jacob's weapon. If you hit a critical hit, it's going to ricochet a bullet to the nearest enemy. With this weapon, you hit the initial enemy. The f initial bullet that you hit will be fire. And if it's a crit, it will the uh, ricochet will be cryo. So I'm trying to show it off a little bit here in the gameplay. You'll see a little bit of enemies taking cryo damage. That's because whenever you hit a crit with this weapon, the bullet, when it deflects off, it will deal cryo damage instead of fire damage. So your initial bullet will deal, deal fire damage. And if it's a crit, the ricochet will deal cryo damage. So that's why you see some of the enemies taking cryo damage after I shoot, uh, shoot them with the fire. So that's a little special thing with this weapon. But this weapon is really good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, there are not the sniper rifles in this game are kind of underpowered, other than like the Lauda. But this weapon surprised me genuinely. I'm loving this weapon, and I'm just gonna continue to use it with flak here because this flak critical hit build works very well with it. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. This is showing off the new weapon. I'm really liking it. You guys should definitely go out and pick this one up. It's very easy to get, but that's all I have in this video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.